previously talked about you thriving under new challenges. Has the moment sunk in yeah. yet about history being on the horizon for you? Oh, I don't get it. I will try to respond my way, okay? Like, I, I know that in this fight, uh, I will tie on the road this record. Of course, uh, I think the division is going to be nine, my ninth fight in the UFC in the strawweight division. And uh, and uh, I don't know what to say. You know, I have a plan to move up, uh, but not now. Uh, maybe next year. But right now, what I'm focused now is the fight with Rosna Mayunas. And after that, I will sit uh, with Dana and the UFC, and we're gonna decide uh, what, what, what we will do with my situation. All right. Uh, you've previously talked about the changes you've made to your game since moving to ATT. Now, Rose is known yeah. for a solid grappling, along with throwing in excellent combinations. How do you see this fight playing out? You know you know who is training at ATT? Jazari Martuda, multiple uh, BJJ world champion. I'm training with other good fighters, man. Like, you know, there is something about me they don't know. You know, they we can talk about this fight, you know, how it's going to look, how she's going to show up, how I'm going to show up, what, I, what I'm taking care of. How I'm going, how I'm going to look on November 4th, and I, I know I'm ready, but they are not ready for me. You will never understand phenomenon of of my person and my ca- fighting career of me being a champion. And the thing is, I'm like you don't see lots of uh, you don't see me on the ground, but uh, I feel pretty confident on the ground. You know, I had my last sparring session today. Everything is on point. I know that she's. Uh, tricky, she's sneaky, and her ground game is very good. That she's uh, going for the submission. Her a real naked choke is her real thing. But uh, man, first of all, if she wants me to take down, if she want, w- wants me to submit, uh, she must like uh, go through the punches and kicks. And if she won't wanna play on the ground, I will play on the ground and, and choke her out. That's the thing. I, I feel pretty confident, and uh, Mikey Brown, Cutter Kubis, they changed my game. Uh, I feel that I step on different level. you know. I feel better fighter because of the move to American top team. All right, uh, final two questions for Rose. Uh, Rose, you fought someone with similar striking style in Karolina Kovacovic not too long ago. So can you tell us what you've learned from that fight and what you've hey, done hey, differently hey, going into hey. your team? Hey, hey, change your question a little bit because never say that Karolina Kovalkiewicz has like similar styles to mine. She got beat up for five rounds. She has like 10 seconds in four rounds of the shining and she didn't do any, any shit about. So please don't compare me to some other fighters, okay? Thank you so much. All right. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, so, Rose, <laughs> can you tell us what you've learned from that fight and what you've done differently going into UFC 217? Um, yeah, I've just gotten better overall as a person, as a fighter. Um, it's every, like, you know, every fighter is different. Every um, fight is different, every training camp. I've trained my entire life for this moment. So, And, and at the end of the day, it's just a moment in my life. So um, really what I've learned from that fight is uh, I've just gotten better mentally. Like, I've overcome some demons in my past. And, uh, you know, I'm just, every day I wake up, I'm a, I'm a fucking champion. So... You know, that's just that's just my mindset all the time. So, and that's something that um, I think, you know, it could be a this fight could be a great uh, PSA announcement for you know mental health awareness. I think that uh, I think I'm a champion for that, and uh, you know, just overcoming a lot of demons in my past, and um, I'm so much stronger from it, and I'm going to continue to be stronger. Hey, listen to your right. You didn't want to do media. You didn't want to do extra media. How you want to be a champion and deal with all of the the things? You know what? You are not stronger mentally. You are mentally unstable, and you are broken already. And I will break you in the fight. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, so uh, I just, think there's a lot of. I think there's a lot of mental instability in this in this whole country, and I think that. That's a great reason to fight and a great reason to This do country it. this you country is an amazing this country been you. amazing to me. I think you have some personal problems and I will I will show you what's your problem, okay? You're never gonna be a champion. Yeah, I think this would be so. a better place if we all just did martial arts and I think that um you know, it, it saved my life. So I'm I'm super grateful for it. I'm super grateful for this experience and this opportunity and uh, you know, yeah, that's it. Uh, Rose, finally, you know, using Joanna's fight against Carolina as an example, did you pick something up from the fight just to prepare for for Joanna? 
Which fight? Uh, her fight with Carolina. Oh, I don't know. Uh, you know, there's not really. You know, I'm not really focused on that. I'm I'm focused on being the best version of myself every fucking day. So that's that's my goal. All right. Thank you, guys. All the very best. And as a reminder, everyone, that is star one to ask a question. Next, we'll go to Stephen Morocco with MMAJunkie.com. Hey, a question for Rose. Um, it, it seems to me like you're maybe a little bit hesitant to engage Joanna when she says things like, you know, you're mentally unstable. Am I reading you right? Is that, is that the case? Are you hesitant to engage her and sort of a verbal back and forth? Yeah, um, I'm not sure if it's like maybe a cultural difference or something like that, but for me, it's uh, you know, it's, it's not something that's like taken lightly. You know, my family has uh, has been torn apart. You know, for for this, um, you know, my my dad died because and he wasn't in my life because he has schizophrenia, and it's been something that my entire family has been fighting against. Um, you know, since I can remember, so. You know, this this fight means a lot to me, and it's not just about the belt. It's it's more than that. Um, and I just want to inspire other people to, you know, fucking do whatever the fuck you want to do, you know what I mean, and, and do what makes you happy and uh, be a good person, and, you know, you can overcome anything. Has she crossed the line in what she said in the, in the build-up to this fight? I'm not concerned about what she's doing, you know what I mean? Um, you know, whatever she's saying that's fine. But for me, it's, it's all about me. It's all about, you know, conquering my demons. And, uh, that's, that's what is it's important. So, so this fight isn't any more personal to you than any other opponent you've faced? Every fight is personal, but with myself, you know, um, um, you know, I just, uh, I just want to, you know, try and make this world a better place and, and somehow, you know, use my gifts of fucking martial arts. You know, I'm, I'm great at this shit. This is what I've been born to do. Um, you know, uh, I might be crazy, but it's, I'm dangerous too. So it's, it's, uh, I don't know. Gotcha. Thank you. Uh, my first question is for Joanna Champion. Uh, Joanna, a few weeks ago we had some of the best fights in the 115 and 125 pound division between Andrade and Gadelia, two girls you've beaten before. But I wanted to know what, what you did you say about the fight? What did you say about the fight? Uh, it was an incredible fight. Uh, Incredible! I didn't watch this fight, so what the question is? Okay, well, I just wanted to know what you thought about. Did you not see Valentina versus? Uh, you know what? Why you why you call this fight like this? Like I uh, like I think that Claudia Gadea. I I have so much respect to this girl because she's like she was one of the most dominant fighters in the strawweight division. But the thing is, like I beat Jessica Andreas, and everyone saw that in May in Dallas, DFC 211. And Claudia Gadea didn't prepare for the fight with Jessica Andrade. She took that easy. And and, 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 and big respect and, and congrats to Jessica Andrade that she uh, she looked so good. But Claudia Gadea made her look so good because she didn't prepare for this fight. Uh, Jessica Andrade didn't bring anything new to this fight, you know. Claudia Gadea didn't have a plan. I train with the best coaches in the world. I train at the best team, uh, the best gym in the world, at American top team. And we know how to fight. We know how to train, and we know how to fight. And that's why I will make all of them look I, like I met uh, Jessica uh, in our fight. And how do you feel about moving up? Do you feel confident in being able to take oh, on? Let's, no? let's, let's be focused on this fight, and let's talk after... Uh, I will tell you. I will tell you after the fight at the press conference. I hope you're gonna be there, and uh, for sure I will answer this question. But right now I'm focused on Rose. Uh, she's my next um, opponent. She's my next big big challenge. She, she's a very dangerous fighter. You know, you you must expect uh, everything and anything from 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 your opponent. So I'm ready for five rounds of real ball. You know, we we all know that one submission, one punch can finish the fight. Uh, but you know, I'm prepared for that. You know, I'm uh, I'm prepared for that. And uh, let's talk about me moving up after after this fight. But definitely, I wanna tie Ronda Rose's record and break Ronda Rose's record. So definitely, I will I will still defending my title in the strawweight division. But of course, there is an idea about me moving up. Absolutely. Okay. My next question is for Rose. Thank you so much. Rose, your 
the performance against Michelle Watterson was was absolutely incredible in my opinion. And uh, we saw you very loose. Uh, you just seemed just to have evolved to you know into yourself and into your game. And uh, we haven't really seen any creativity from you in a long time, at least since your Invicta days. I mean, are you planning to get creative in this fight? I mean, to be such a dominant champion. Um, I don't know. I thought that was a pretty creative performance. Oh, yeah, absolutely, but I mean, uh, flying arm bars and just <laughs> utter creativity on the feet and the I ground. Think that, I, think that, uh, I think a flying arm bar is creative. I think that there's, uh, I think you just don't know what you're looking at. Um, uh, I, I hope that doesn't offend you, but I mean, all my jabs, like they're all different. You know, I have a million different jabs. I got all these different steps that if you don't see all the different footwork, different head movement, um, you know, the, the, the fakes, all that stuff, um, you know, just the transitions in the in the, you know, uh, with the kick and the the choke and everything like that. Um, that's all creative. You feel confident enough to stand so with Joanna? Interrupting. So sorry for interrupting. I have only one jab, long and very strong, and that's enough. She's not ready. Well, Rose, do you feel confident enough to stand with Joanna? Do you think you can do uh-huh. it on the feet? in this fight, but yes. 